Okay, so I'm just about to walk into my second Daiso shopping spree. Let's see what we can do this time. Okay, oh my goodness. I just got back from Daiso for the second time today and that there was my first lot of stuff and I've already started like setting out the stuff for the kids but I just went and spent another $150. So for all you guys watching, definitely don't just hit up one Daiso store if you can help it definitely go to multiple because I came across things that I did not see in the other Daiso. The only issue is that at this Daiso that I just came back from, mind you, I'm drenched because it was pouring, they did not accept card. So thank goodness I had like 15,000 yen in my wallet because how embarrassing. Like I would have had to go on over to 7-Eleven, get money out and then come back. So um, yeah, so just be careful before you shop up a storm to double check that they accept both cash and card because the first one I went to accepted both, the second one only cash. Sus. But yeah, okay, I'm going to set up my camera and then I'm gonna go through with you guys everything that I got this time around at Daiso. So get ready. Okay, so the lighting this time is probably going to be shit house because um, it's night time now. But I'm gonna go through with you everything that I got for the second time in Daiso today, even though it's gonna be Wow, super great lighting in my room. But yeah, it's probably going to be blurry as so. Let's just see what we can do. Like, I don't even know what is happening with my camera. It's actually really annoying me. Like, am I blurry? Either that or my eyesight's going. Okay, so let's start off in the first bag of goodies. So I found these little chopstick um, holders that are like little origami. Come in all different colors. But not only did I get these to be chopstick holders, but I also thought that these are really cute souvenirs, you know. My mum collects like little knickknacks from around the world and I thought what a cute one to be able to add to her collection, like a little glass origami. But I'm going to put my money on it that by the time I arrive home in Australia that they're all going to be broken. I definitely am blurry. This is really stressing me out. Let me try to change the settings and I'll be back. Okay, so back at it, but I'll have to hold the camera because, you know, the lighting in here is just A grade ridiculous. But what I was saying was, there's all these little um, 
chopstick holders, but they're super cute as little um, souvenirs, I think. So yeah, I bought my mum a couple of those. There's my receipt. To prove that your girl did spend 12,960 yen. Woo! Can't wait to check my bank account, guys. Okay, so next thing I bought was just bulk glitter nail polishes for the kids as stocking fillers. Bought heaps of cool colors of those because what kid doesn't love glitter nail polish? Also, I bought these nail polishes that I actually think are really nice. So it'll be interesting to see how many um, applications you need of it, whether it's going to be opaque or whether it's going to be like 400 coats. But they, I thought they're in the nicest colors ever. If I can pick them all up so you can see them all at once. But they're like pastel colors. So there's like a light blue, dark blue, pink, beige, and like a gray tone. But yeah, like I thought they were really nice. So I definitely can't wait to try out those. Oh no, I'm so devo. I definitely can't read. So I got colored mascara. There's a pink one, purple, and what I was hoping was white, but if you read the bottom, which I can't get it to focus, because as I said, like I have to hold the camera, is clear, but I've still got my hopes up that when I open it, it's going to be white. But then again, at the end of the day, clear will come in handy for something. I just don't know what. Next, I bought some cool sparkly lip glosses and some Hello Kitty ones, just in nice pink shades. So these ones are actually like the clear one that when you put on, you know, it makes them get a nice little tint to them. So I'm sure they'll like that. I also got one of them, um, some Hello Kitty eyeshadow. I wonder how good the um, pigment on those are. We'll see. Okay, so the next thing I'm also really interested to try because there was like four different kinds, but the only one that was sold out was this one, except in the packet next to it, which was for, I literally think, placenta, um, there was one left. No, I'm definitely talking about the wrong thing. That's not what I'm holding, but I'll come to that thing in a minute. These things that I'm holding are just... Um, aromatherapy oils. I got peppermint and I got a nighttime one which is for relaxing which shows I was gonna say shows some little oranges but it actually says lavender and orange so I actually bought them for my mum but I actually think that I'm going to keep them unless I get my hands on another lot. So there's the tiny bag emptied now let's go on to the big bag which is literally full of so much food and that so like as i said i'm going to have to be very very um selective on how i pack my bag because i guarantee that customs in australia is going to pick me up for how much food and stuff i have and will probably search my bag so i need to put them on the top so yeah, first thing I got was these things. Now, I wish I was uploading this this video as soon as like I'm done, but I'm not because I'm going to be delayed a few days until I get home to Australia. But I got these things. I'm hoping they're like rice crackers or something just shaped really cool. But I guess we will have to see. But I'm really keen to try those things. There's a lot of stuff here that I've also got to send to my friend um, Demi in Manchester, England. As a little box of delayed happy birthday. And here you go. Try this stuff um, on your YouTube channel. And let us know what you think. So I plan on sending some crazy flavored things and then just some stuff that 
is I guess mainstream but like I said I haven't tried anything I'm keeping a bag to the side of things that I also want to make a video on so if you come back to my channel I'm sure you'll find it somewhere below oh I got some green tea a couple of packets of that to take home I also got some laundry bags um mini mouse type ones i got these to put stuff in to travel home but i'm going to give them to my mum because she loves using them for like separating bras and stuff from the rest of the washing so that the little class or don't get stuck on everyone else's clothes and damage them but i got her a couple of those so she'll be happy with those next thing i bought three of these because i'm having one for myself and i'm sure someone else in my family will actually want the others and they are the good old trusty daiso egg timer look how cute that is but yeah, so you pretty much just put it into the water when you're boiling your egg um, and then it changes colour based on whether it's soft, medium or hard. So yeah, can't wait to try out those. But like I said, I got three of those bad boys. Look what I found. So this is what I mean about I'm happy to have gone to a second Daiso because I found the two-way sheet mask that I wanted so yeah can't wait to use that when I get home to Australia and like I said I've got some for gifts so there's heaps of them there next I got my sister a little sushi roller so it'll be funny to see whether she can actually use it and use it successfully because I know that her two kids love sushi so much so yeah next I got these things which I've been looking for so I'm going to use them just to put my mobile phone and stuff in when I'm going places that might be near water or you know just anywhere in general I guess a lot of things can fit in it not just a mobile phone you can use them for food you can use them for anything pretty much um, just nothing sharp obviously so yeah, I got the mini ones of that. I also got this little Bon Voyage drawstring backpack. That's what I'm going to put my nephew's stuff in to keep it to the side so it doesn't get mixed up with everything. Next, I got my little niece a Do Your Best mirror, compact mirror, just because I also got my older one one but hers is a lot bigger that you've seen in the first lot of Daiso shopping I did. Um, but I think she'll love that because she'll be able to sit on her desk and I guess look at herself <laughs> Just like me right now in the viewfinder Oh, yeah, I also got this for my sister with the two little kids a rice mold not that I'm You know convinced that she'll be able to do cool stuff like that But I thought even just a plain bunny looking rice mold means that the kids might eat their food these I have been looking for these I reuse so many plastic bottles at home. I hate to admit that I use plastic bottles and just not a normal one that you can use 400 times over, but I do try to use them more than once. So I found these little bottle caps that you can screw onto a plastic bottle so that you can continuously use it. Like I'm sure if it's full of BPA or whatever it is that it's not healthy, but I'm trying to save the environment. Um, I got the Hello Kitty ones for my kids. When I say my kids all the time, I mean my nieces and nephews, but they're pretty much my kids. Um, and I got myself the adult version, I guess, which is just a blue one. Oh yeah, next I got this. So it is resistant eyebrow coating. So what I'm really interested to see, and I'll try this stuff all when I get home to Australia, is whether that is clear. I'm hoping it's clear because it doesn't say a colour anywhere. Oh my god, yes. If I actually had it just read there, in English, it actually says natural clear coat. Yes, because I love filling in my eyebrows, but I always like the idea of being able to go over with a clear coat. So I'm so happy that I found that. Fans. I bought heaps of these um, Mount Fuji fans because one, I'm going there tomorrow, and two, I'm definitely not going to buy any there because I'm sure that they'll be five hundred times the price. So I got these cutlery sets. 
reusable ones which is spoon, fork and chopstick. And the reason why I got these is because you can carry them around with you. And like I said, if I can do my little part for the environment and not use plastic throwaway disposable ones, I will. So I got a few of these actually, because I got one for my mum so she can use it for work. This is like a disclaimer here. I feel so bad for my dad. I'm going to have to email him and ask him what he wants brought back because there is just nothing for males or nothing that I think that he would want. So he'll probably be like, don't worry about me. Just get me a key ring or something. But I feel really bad considering that everyone else has like a million different things. And like I said, if you know me, you know that I spend way too much money bringing back souvenirs when everyone else just doesn't even bother so yeah I also got my niece these little um paper clips for when she's reading books so they're pretty much like a bookmark or whatever for whatever page she's up to next so I don't know why I didn't think about this before I did so I've been trying to find a little camera tripod the whole time I've been in Japan and at Daiso I found these little $1, 100 yen camera, camera tripod, 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 tripod for a digital camera only. So um, it actually says that the little legs go out. So I bought two of them in case they are actually good. And like I said, at the end of the day, for 100 yen, it doesn't matter either way. Um, I got some nice little hair clips for the kids. More different ones. I got a few of these little geisha doll wooden things to be able to sit on a cabinet or something as little mementos. Um, I got more of them little block things to give to the kids. Lots of different eyebrow pencils. I can't wait to try those out. Another nice little big butterfly clip for one of the kids more pens these actually bought these for my niece which i'm keen to see how she likes them but they're like little paper strips that you would put to wherever you want your makeup to go to i guess um or you could probably use them as a you know the side bit to make sure that you keep your eyeshadow um cut clean so i got those to try face mask well that's what i'm going to use it for but who knows please if someone sees me saying that something is something and it's not please comment below before i put it on my face and it's actually meant for my feet or something i got a glass heel file for my mum because i know she will appreciate that i actually got these to try peeled roasted chestnuts so i actually don't mind chestnuts so it'll be interesting to see whether i like this type so once again that will be in another video I found it that i thought was them other things so as i said there was four of these stands they were all different types there was something jelly there was literally placenta and there was one that was collagen and it was all sold out what I thought but there was actually one stuffed into the placenta little tray so I got it but yeah it is collagen and I'm hoping that it is like little drop serums to put on your face if it's not please tell me because that's what I plan on doing with it so yeah it just looks like this and it just has collagen written down the side so you know I'm hoping that my face is super 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 um smooth and baby looking when I get home not when I get home because I'll try it when I get home um so yeah I will just also show you quickly like in the rest of the bag because like I said it is just all different types of food and candy etc for the kids and for me to do little taste testing on so yeah like I said, look at all this for the second round of Daiso shopping. I am not going to be able to find any space to put the stuff because that is my suitcase there. 
and it's already filled and I've got to go and find places for all of these shoes and now all of this and to think I'm probably the only person that keeps their hotel room clean I make my bed in the morning I always put on the sign on the door for like the eco thing because if I'm staying here more than however many days I don't need them to clean my room when I keep it tidy anyways but right now if they come in I'm sure they would have a heart attack or think that I just robbed Daiso so yeah if you like this video I'm guessing that this will hopefully be the last time I've like I'm going to Daiso because $300 later I think the kids are set for souvenirs um but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment below if you like any of these items that I bought or you know what any of them are for especially if you speak Japanese because I don't and I also can't read Japanese so yeah you will come in handy awesome see you guys P.S. I'm going to Mount Fuji tomorrow bye